I was listening to an Asian politician citing something that he got from Greek mythology. And he says very simple that in Greek mythology, citizens who are divided into three, you must have listened to this or read about it. That they are idiots, idiots. One, the first category of individuals in any society are idiots. These idiots is not because they are mentally challenged. They are idiots because they live, they think they live in an island that they don't care about anybody. There are these individuals when there is anti-social activity, they build walls around them, then they have CCTVs, then they have panic buttons, then they have German shepherds, and they think they are safe. Those are idiots. <laughs> they are idiots because they don't know that they are in the minority and if there is a social breakdown, the thing that they are protecting the panic button that they think they will press when they are panicked, they'll be so panicked that they'll never remember where the buttons are. <laughs> that those are idiots. And then they are tribalists. Tribalists are not people who belong to a particular tribe. But they are individuals who out of their naivete or stupidity or arrogance, hold the view that they belong to a club and that that club invariably they are the ones who appeal to the very base emotions of people from their tribe. They are the individuals who once they have stolen, then they say, they tell the tribe, we are being finished, I know them, they exist in Kenya. And the people who have not been educated sometimes adopt them. They say, we know he is a thief, but he is our thief. He is ours. <laughs> Those are tribalists. What they don't know, the danger of such individuals is that when they are stealing, they are stealing on their own behalf. And the only thing that you have is a feel-good effect. Then there is the final category according to the Greeks. These are called the citizens. The citizens know they live in a society. They know that their general and overall well-being not only requires but demands that they cede certain of their rights because they live in a society. When they drive and they are going to work, they know that the only reason why they are comfortable when they are on their lane is because they know the other person will keep their lane. They know that when they are entering a lift, somebody will obey the rule. Those are the citizens. The tragedy of Africa is that in many societies, we have been rendered idiots and tribalists. We have been rendered. And Nyerere used to say it very well, that people who are politically and intellectually bankrupt normally seek refuge in ethnicity and religion as the major factor of mobilization. And, and, and I think, and I 